Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. It's morning time. I'm getting ready to put a roast into the crock pot. I want to make shredded beef taco style. We're going to take a roast. We're going to give it a nice sear, nice browning, and then we're going to place it in the crock pot. Low and slow cook that with some delicious flavors. Shred it up and then you can put it on crunchy tacos, soft tacos, quesadillas, if you like to make rice bowls or even burritos. That sounds delicious. You ready? Let's go ahead and get started. With my roast, I'm just going to be cutting it into four pieces. And what that will do is help cook it faster and then have those flavors go all the way through your meat. This is about a two and a half, almost three pound chuck roast. Now I am going to leave the fat layer on there because that's all flavor right there. I'm just salting the top of the roast here and I'm just going to put some pepper on it. It's a lot of roast so make sure you give it some good flavor. I've got a large skillet heating up over medium high heat and I've put one tablespoon of butter in and then I'm just going to add just a little slurry of some cooking oil one tablespoon. You want to bring this to a sizzle. Once that meat hits your pan, you want it to be searing, locking in that nice color, the flavor. I'm going to take my roast pieces and I'm going to place them into my pan, season side down. Oh, we hear that? Now once you place it in there, you want to leave it for about four minutes. Don't be moving it around. Now while this is searing, I'm going to go ahead and season this side of it. Got some salt. And some black pepper. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom side of our meat. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. What we're going to do is start rotating it around until it's browned on all sides. So while it's browning on all sides, what I'm going to do is just take two onions. Now I've already peeled them and I'm just going to chop them. You just want big pieces. And what I'm going to do is add this to the pan where our meat is searing just to kind of give these a little browning also. Okay, our roast pieces are nice and browned and seared. So what I'm gonna do is just turn off the heat we're going to place our roast and the onions into the bottom of our six quart crock pot. So we are going to make the most delicious sauce that we're going to pour over our roast so that it can simmer in those flavors all day. Now I have two cups of beef broth in just a medium bowl. I'm going to add four ounces of green chilies. Now these are diced and they just come in a little can like this. I'm going to add that. And that's not a lot of green chilies for all this roast we have in here so it's not going to make it hot at all. But if you want to add more green chilies to it and add some extra heat you can do that. Okay two packets of taco seasoning that you get from your store or six tablespoons of taco seasoning that you make at your house homemade. This is my homemade blend here and I'm saying six tablespoons because we've got about two and a half to three pounds of roast in there and we want to have some flavor. All right. I think I'm going to be making some more after this batch. I've been using this a lot. If you want this recipe, I will link it down below in my description box. All right, that's six. Now I'm going to add some extra black pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon, and then a quarter teaspoon of some salt. I'm just going to blend this all together with a whisk. And we're going to pour this all over the roast. Now 
Oh, it smells good already. We're going to cover this with our lid. We're going to cook this on low for eight to 10 hours. It could be even lower than that, depending on how much you cut your roast, okay? Or you could cook it on high for six to eight hours. Again, you just want to get to the end of your time and then start shredding your beef. It's, if it's really easy to shred, then the roast is done. If it's not, then give it some more time. Okay, the meat is very tender. Look at this. It's just shredding, which is what I'm going to do using two forks. Let's just shred it all up. It smells amazing. Love those flavors. All right, it's all shredded up. Let me show you how I eat this. I love crunchy shells. You could do soft shells or you can do rice bowls, burritos. Oh, there's, it's limitless, isn't it? So I'm gonna take my meat, my shredded beef that has the taco flavorings in it. And I'm going to lay that down into the taco shell. Now, I love this crema. It's really delicious. It's like a Mexican sour cream. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to dribble a little bit. And of course, we have homemade pico delicious when you make it at home really easy to do and my favorite crumble cheese that we love on anything mexican inspired this is queso fresco and i just crumbled it into some pieces here is that a winner or what my son just walked in the door does he know timing or what all right i'm gonna try one for you Mm. Yeah, you don't need to go to a restaurant. Make your own. Let it slow cook all day in the crock pot. It'll give you something amazing. And then top it with your favorite taco toppings. Very delicious. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Everyone, make sure you're hitting that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I'm on Facebook, Pinterest. My recipe blog is catherinesplates.com. I will see you on my next episode.